Hi everybody, Jeff Rivet here, Portfolio Manager with Creed Capital Management Group at National Bank Financial. Hope everyone had an awesome summer. Um, I know I sure did. Uh, spent lots of time with the kids and um, happy that they're back in school. <laughs> uh, I know it's a busy time for everybody as we kind of get back into the swing of fall. Um, so I'll keep this pretty brief. Uh, we will have a, a quarterly update uh, in October again. So that'll be a longer run through of the portfolio. But just wanted to sort of touch base on where we're at um, as of the end of August. Um, so real quick, uh, as of as of today, actually, uh, our balance model is uh, is up about eleven and a half percent on average. Uh, that compares to um, the average balance fund in Canada, uh, which is up about eight and a half percent. So we're outperforming um, by about uh, three percent. That has increased in the month of August. Uh, in fact, the average balance fund in Canada uh, was down about 0.3% last month, and we were up about 0.5%. So nice, nice pick up there. Um, largely to do with some of the instability that we saw at the beginning of August, um, which we're sort of seeing an echo of this week. Um, but our portfolio is built for that instability. Uh, we have a uh, sort of a conservative bias, I would say, given um, the run that we've had, given the election cycle that's, that's coming our way. Um, and just given the, the general nervousness I've talked about with some of the, the big, uh, large cap uh, tech positions in the U.S. So um, every time there's sort of instability, it seems like it, it, uh, it helps us out, which is, which is what we're here for. Trying to uh, make as much money as possible for you with as least amount of risk as possible is uh, what we try to do every day. Um, just a sort of a quick overview of some of the positions. Uh, uh, in the fixed income or the bond space, um, we saw interest rates start to come down, which was great for bonds. Uh, our long-term treasury bond ETF in the U.S., uh, TLT, which is one of our larger positions, was up about 3% for the month of August, which is pretty outstanding for a bond fund. Um, in Canada, we saw a really great quarter by the Canadian banks. Um, not all the banks, but the ones we own, uh, National, Royal Bank, and Scotiabank. Um, Royal was the best uh, performer for the month, up about 12%. National and Scotia were up about 10%. So again, really great to see in the Canadian portfolio um, that those banks are finally starting to pull, pull, uh, pull their weight and catch up with the rest of the market. Um, and, uh, and we've certainly benefited from that. On the U.S. side, uh, we saw Nike up 11%, uh, which is, again, great to see. I know in my last quarterly update in August, uh, sorry, in July, um, I mentioned that that's a stock that had been struggling. So Nike up 11%, uh, Visa up 10%, and Costco up 10%. So um, some good performers there in our portfolio. Um, not too much on the negative, really, for August. Um, Google was probably the worst performer, uh, or Alphabet, um, as uh, the parent company is called, uh, was down about 1.5%. So overall, um, you know, sort of neutral to positive performance in the portfolio. Um, not a lot of major changes that we made other than just sort of rebalancing um, the accounts. We you know, continue to look for, for how best to position for the fall coming up. Uh, and I'll have more of an update on that when I uh, hopefully see you in our uh, October uh, quarterly update call. Take care. Bye-bye. Jeff.